question is to the Minister for Education, Training and Skills. Is the government giving consideration uh, to using public advertising campaigns to address any other behaviour issues in schools? And with your leave, sir, and that of the House, I'll explain. Leave your sorties. Leave granted. Yes, sir. Member for Marialta. Thank you, sir. Violence, bullying, antisocial behaviour and especially in recent times vaping all present significant challenges in schools. However, they are not addressed by the government's $900,000 advertising campaign. Premier. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Um, of course the government is keen and open-minded towards using taxpayers' funds thoughtfully in order to be able to achieve high-quality public policy outcomes. And we've demonstrated that on more than one occasion. And the thing about the advertising campaign on the mobile phone ban in schools is that it wasn't the government's idea, as the Minister for Education uh, enunciated earlier. This was actually an idea that came from the secondary, the secondary uh, principals association themselves. In fact, it was. Member for Hartley is warned. I could be more. I could be more specific again for the minister. Um, the the education minister uh, was hosting a range of secondary uh, principals here at Parliament House at a function. I think it was late last year, and they themselves expressed an appetite for an advertising campaign and. Um, and the moment I heard that idea, I thought it was one that was worthy of the examination, and ultimately, and ultimately, Member for Moray is warned. And ultimately has led to us um, instituting it, and that is a campaign that is now rolling out over the period that is the same time as the mobile phone ban is being rolled out across schools throughout the state. But I can say, uh, Mr. Speaker, that we have been on this side of the house really hardened by the response from all involved in respect to the success of the ban where it has been implemented thus far. In fact, I think um, uh, many uh, members will be familiar with a... Would uh, member for Flory, Premier, there is a point of order from the member for Morialta, which I'll hear under 134. Member for Morialta. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, the Premier has been you know, entirely logical and consistent up until this point, until he says that he's talking about the success... What of the is ban. your point of the order, member for Morialta? specifically goes... Would, Treasurer's call to order. Member for Badco is warned for a second time. Social behaviour and whether they will be considered for advertising campaigns too. Order, order. I have the point of order. Some latitude, of course, is provided to the premier and the leader. I'll listen carefully. The, um, there was a, a, an opinion piece published in today's advertiser from the principal of Finan High School, Kathleen Hoare. And I'd invite the. I'd invite the. I'd invite the. Order. Order. I'd invite the shadow minister to familiarise himself with the opinion piece if he hasn't had a chance already. But the interesting thing about it is it goes directly to the shadow minister's question because the principal articulates all of the benefits towards uh, diminishing antisocial behaviour as a result of the implementation of the ban. In fact, um, to quote the words of. Uh, Ms Hoare, the school principal, in respect to the ban, she says kids are talking and interacting with each other. The school is filled with sounds of engagement rather than the sounds of fights. Uh, it's a different vibe. Member for Morialta is warned. It's a different warned. vibe and makes me feel positive Order. if we have made the right decision to tighten our mobile phone ban policy. Member now, for Morialta is warned. What Ms Hoare, and I don't want to uh, at the expense of paraphrasing Ms Hall, what she articulates later uh, on in the opinion piece is that as schools progressively roll out the policy, then the, they can look to the experience of Findon High or where the ban has been implemented with a degree of confidence as the right thing to the do. Memorial so the campaign, on three warnings. So the campaign goes a long way. Now, uh, I have noted the commentary from the opposition that has been rolled out progressively throughout the implementation of this ban, constantly uh, seeking, in effect, to undermine the policy, raise questions about the policy or, or seek to critique, critique the implementation of the policy. Valley. But the Shadow Minister should be under no misapprehension about the fact that on this side of the House we are proud to be getting things done. We made the commitment to the people of South Australia at the election and we are actually delivering upon it. We are not commentating on it. We're not talking about it, we're actually doing it. And we are rolling out this ban in less than 12 months after forming office. It's been done in a thoughtful, considered way, uh, ensuring that schools have the resources where required to be able to facilitate the ban. Um,
but also providing a degree of flexibility to schools about how they roll it out, but also supporting them by ensuring that every single parent in the state knows that this is the government that is delivering on its election commitments and making education in our schools a better experience.